Groundwater usually flows and eventually drains into streams, rivers, and lakes. However, the flow of groundwater in aquifers does not always mirror the flow of water on the surface. When drilling a well, it is important to know where your water is coming from. Just in case, for example, there is a chemical spill. You'll know if your water may be affected. The following steps show how to determine the direction groundwater is flowing within an unconfined aquifer. Step one, choose three well locations and figure out the water table elevation for each. We determine water table elevation by subtracting the depth to water from the surface elevation. Let's look at an example. Let's say well one has an elevation of 680 feet, well two has an elevation of 700 feet, and well three has an elevation of 690 feet. Step two, determine which of the three wells has the highest water table level and which has the lowest. We calculate the difference in water table levels between each well by subtracting the distance to the water table of a well with the highest elevation, in this case, well two, from the distance to the water table of a well with a lower elevation. By looking at all the levels of the water table, we can see that well three has the highest water table and well one has the lowest. Well two is in the middle. We know that water flows from high ground to low and that's easy to see on the surface. Under the Earth's surface, groundwater also flows from higher elevations to lower elevations in the direction of maximum change, but we can't see it. Step three. Determine flow direction by connecting the water table elevation points of the wells in a triangle. See the tilt of the water table? Now we have our answer and can see which way the groundwater is flowing. With this process, make sure you know what the bedrock and geology are like. For example, knowing if there is a change in bedrock or a large body of surface water between the wells you're measuring, just in case one of those factors could be affecting your measurements. Thanks for watching. To learn more about groundwater, watch our other videos in this series.